freshman. She's already played 11 games. She's won a bunch of awards in high school. So I wanted to know what you saw in her when you were recruiting her um, and how she's improved in the season so far. Okay. So you can go whenever. Oh, oh, <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, we recruited Maddie because she's a champion. Like she's she's one of the best pitchers in the state in her class, and um, has won a championship, and um, has played for one of the best summer ball programs, and dominated with them and led them. Um, so she was just uh, definitely a person um, that you know we felt would come in and bring that kind of um, championship mindset and that caliber of pitching to our program, and um, and she's been doing that. She's been competing really hard and. Um, you know, pitching as a freshman, there's a lot to learn, and she's done a really good job of taking each learning moment in stride. Um, she's a perfectionist, and you expect that with pitchers in general. But um, you know, she really, she's really done a great job of um, rising to some occasions for us and, and um, buckling down on the mound to get some big outs when we've needed her to. And um, she's a hard worker. Um, like I said, she's a perfect perfectionist, so. Um, her intentions every time she comes to practice are spot on with the kind of execution that she's getting on the mound. And um, you know, we still have a, a lot to develop and we have a lot to learn. And um, But she's taking all of these learning lessons um, that the game's bringing her. She's taking them all in stride and she's, she's competing. I think that's one thing that we're really um, vesseling into more so is like just tap into that competitive nature. Think less like a pitcher sometimes and just more as a competitor. And, um, and so she's learning how to draw the line there of um, digging in to compete rather than being too finicky about her pitches. But um, yeah, she's awesome to work with. She, um, like I said, comes to practice with great intentions to get better every single day. She's taken her bumps and bruises at practice and um, she wants to learn from them. She comes in to watch a video almost every single Monday after a road trip so that she can watch the game, learn the game, study the game, and, and work to get better every time. And um, that's the kind of teammate we want in this culture. Um, over time, yeah. I mean, definitely. And if not by her vocal presence, because she's not a very vocal pitcher, um, more so by her command on the field and the expectations she has for herself and her teammates around her. Super team player. Um, she's all about, you know, doing what what the team needs to have done in that moment. Um, and, but she's, you know, she's got one job to do, and she's doing it really, really well, um, leading us in that circle. Have you seen a relationship build with her and Dan? Um, yeah, you know, we they're they're all very supportive of each other, and they all do a great job of um, learning from and learning with each other. Um, so she, you know, she's just eyes wide open, ears really big, and um, has a lot that she's taking from each person. Um, but she's she's done a good job of giving back to seeing what she sees out of them and um, giving that information and knowing what we need to work on a little bit more and and what um, what we're doing well as a staff. Um, so she's definitely, you know, supportive of her teammates, um, supportive of her team, uh, of her team um, leadership coming out of Danny for, as a senior. Um, but she's she's just a sponge right now, soaking it all in. And um, our, my job is to make sure she's squeezing out the positive more than she's trying to be a perfectionist because she lives in that domain. Have you seen any similarities between either like their personalities or their skills? Her personalities or skills? Yeah, Danielle's in. Um no, no, they're completely opposite ends of the spectrum as far as their um, the way that they work and the, their craft. I mean, one, they're both perfectionists. That's a similarity. But again, that's a lot of pitchers are. Um, but D Danny's just at a different place in her career and her leadership role as a senior pitcher, and Maddie is at a different place as a freshman coming in and um, and the role that she's in. And um, but at the end of the day, their commonality is they want to win. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, so. So excited to not have to pack my suitcase this weekend. Um, so you know you play uh, five games at home, you know, in, in, a, in a week. So you know that home stand, you know, how are you going to try and build for, uh, from what you learned in the tournament season to going into getting back to Athens and playing in that game? Well, I think just playing in your own home atmosphere is exciting, and it, it brings just a different vibe to you know your team being comfortable in their own domain. Um, but it's just exciting for us to be here playing in front of our fans. Uh, we have great traveling fans, um, so we've seen many across the road um, in the miles that we've traveled. But 
you know, it's just, it, there's just a different feeling playing in front of your own home, your own home um, campus and, um, but more so than anything, opening up with a conference, it's, it's a big thing for us right now. It's a big deal and um, we played a very strong schedule leading up to this and I believe it's helped prepare us for what we're ready for. Yeah, so what in the, uh, you know, like tournament and conference it's part of the season, what, do you, what have you learned to help prepare for that season? Um, well, I think we've seen us contribute on all sides of the ball um, to our A game. Like we've we've really done well defensively. Um, this last weekend, we had some really awesome timely hitting, um, double digit hits in some games, um, and then we've delivered some really good pitching on the mound. Um, we've seen when one thing falters that another thing can have its back. But um, you know, we've also seen some of the best pitching, um, and we've seen some great hitters. So we need to. Um, just really trust the fact that we've come a long way in the last five weeks and we've competed really, really hard. Um, and then it takes a big team effort. It's not just one person that's going to do the job for us. It's got to be the team that's going to do the job. And you've talked a lot this season about the veterans kind of in the lineup and the field. You know, how do you think they kind of help you know, the team push forward and then help the team push forward in the, in the map? Well, I think our veterans have really settled into their role um, and and just kind of plugging through, um, taking pressure off of themselves a little bit and trusting that we've got a staff of um, hitters, a staff of pitchers, and some defense that can do the job for us. But um, no, I'm looking for all of us to stand up in, in conference, not just one person, not just a couple of people. I'm looking for all of us to kind of dig deep, get after a goal, and, um, and really work to, to win that goal as a team. Our best game that we've played all season so far um, was against JMU and that, that nine inning win. A very good team on all sides of the ball and, and it took every single person in that lineup um, to come in and be a part of that win and, um, and it took some big people standing up in some big moments to get the, the clutch hit, to get the timely hit, to get the, um, the key strikeouts, to get the great defensive play. So um, you know, knowing that feeling of what that is, um, our job now is to be as consistent with that as possible so that we can um, expect to deliver each time that we're being challenged and that we're being competed against. Uh, you, you know, you talked about how you don't want it just to be one person, you want to be the whole team, and it kind of has appeared to be for the season that it has been, you know, this person, this, you know, it's been the whole team effort. So how big is that just to see what you want to see on the field? Oh, it's huge. You know, watching a freshman Katie Young come up and hit 600 plus, I think, over the weekend, this last weekend, with some couple of big laser bombs and some great defensive play. I mean, like, you know, the kid was on time at the right time and, and it, it just, it broods some that great confidence in her and, and within herself. And um, watching Danny grit and grind on the mound um, to lead us to the final close of that JMU game. Um, and then to turn around and, and be steady and strong with 12 strikeouts um, against Stony Brook, you know, and watching us have some patience against Stony Brook, like, you know, we're down early in the innings and we had some patience and we trusted our offense and we got back to what we were feeling great about at the beginning of the season. So, I mean, it's huge that we're in this spot that we're in right now. It's kind of as a coach where we really want your team to be at. Um, you're not at the top of your peak. You're not down. You're right where you're at, taking a steady climb and entering conference. I think that's where we definitely want to be. Yeah. And you mentioned, you know, you're down early in the Stony Brook game and that's something that's kind of been almost a constant, you know, throughout the season. You've been down early and you've been able to come back, you know, cut the deficit, take the lead, stuff like that. So, and then, you know, you can use that for going into conference play. So, how much, you know, how big is that to be able to, to do that consistently again and again? It seems like you do it at least twice a weekend now. So. Yeah, I mean, but if that's what it takes, that's what we, we have. And, you know, we're fighters. Um, that's kind of the athletes and the mindset that we have. We fight um, all the way through. and. Doesn't matter if we're down or we're up, we just want to fight to the end of the game and we want to win and be our best at the end of the game. So, I, I, you know, I'm just, I'm very confident in this team right now. I'm very confident the way they look, the way they feel, the way they act, and the way they're cohesive with, another, with one another. And um, carrying that confi confidence forward to a Central Michigan and a Dayton this week is um, exactly where we want to be.